Good morning, Ripples, and welcome to the start of the second quarter. Today is day one of a fresh start. Today I'm joined by Mr. Peters and Dr. Fitzpatrick, and we have lots of information to share with you. So this is going to be a little bit of a longer TV newscast, but it is very, very important that you pay attention because the expectation is at the conclusion of this newscast that you understand our expectations for second quarter. So first, let's talk about the beginning and the end of the day. We're going to do something different beginning tomorrow when you arrive on campus. Whether you're a walker, bike rider, parent drop-off, or whether you arrive on a bus, you are going to go immediately to the cafeteria. No more gym. Immediately to the cafeteria, and you will pick up a bagged breakfast. As soon as you pick up a bag breakfast, you're going to report to your first or second period class, depending on whether it's an even or an odd day. And we're going to be working on reading and math compass activities. We're going to be tracking that. Why? Because when we look at the STAR scores and your FSA scores, we got some learning that we need to do. So we're going to use that valuable time in the morning as part of our academic time, and we're going to start tomorrow. Now, if you come to school and you've already eaten and you don't want breakfast, then you don't need to go to the cafeteria. You can go straight to your first or second period classroom. Students, we're going to have adults in the hallways, so there's not going to be any lollygagging. There's not going to be any hanging out in the, in the bathrooms or any of that stuff. You are in school to learn, and the minute you arrive on campus, learning is going to start, and we are going to in expect that. Teachers, I sent out an email yesterday that talked about that. It also talked about um, the new duties for people in the morning that do not have a first or second period class. And we also talked about Go Guardian. I would highly encourage you in the morning, teachers, when you arrive, to put Go Guardian on your projection screen. If you don't know how, Miss Young is the resident expert. And then you'll be able to monitor the student's use of their computers. Students, we're going to be coming in and checking. We want you to do very, very well this year. We want you to get to high school, and this is just another opportunity for you to work on your individual skills in reading and math so that you can be the best that you can be. It's not about how you're doing compared to your neighbors. It's about how you're doing compared to yourself, and that's what we're really looking at. Now, along with that, we are going to be celebrating star gains for reading and math. We're also going to be celebrating those of you who have taken the civics and the eighth grade science um, assessment. And you're going to be getting tickets from your teacher soon. Mr. Peters is going to work on that. And if you get a ticket, you're going to get a free slushie in the cafeteria. So he's going to be sharing with teachers how that's going to work. But no, students, we do look at those assessments. We do look to see whether or not you're growing. That's very, very important because you're in school to learn and you should continue to grow. So with that, that's the beginning of the day. Let's talk about the end of the day. If you've ever been in my office, you have seen uh, that I have about 29 cameras that I look at throughout the day. And one of the things that I have noticed, along with Dr. Fitzpatrick and Mr. Peters, is that at the end of the day, ninth and 10th period, there are a lot of students in the hallways really doing absolutely nothing. Nothing. Standing, talking being near the water fountain or near the bathroom, but not doing any of those things. What you're really doing is escaping the learning environment. And because of that, I am going to stop that immediately. Beginning today, there is a no-pass policy for ninth and 10th period. Use the restroom, get a drink of water before you go into your ninth or 10th period class. If there's an emergency, bring it to your teacher's attention, and they will contact me, and then I will come and remove you from the classroom. But there is to be no more past policies, ninth and 10th period. Guys, you're just wasting good, valuable academic time. The other thing I looked at last night were the report card grades of all of the students, all 630 students here. I looked at all the A's and the B's and the C's, and I even looked at the D's because you know what, guys? D's are not good enough. And 
can you believe that we have some ripples that have F's as well? And that really hurts my heart because we're in school to learn. That's your job and something's not working for you. So we're going to help you with that. We're going to try to keep you in the class more often. We're going to work in the mornings when you're on campus and we're really going to focus on our academics. And I'm going to continue to look at your grades and I'm going to continue. We are going to continue to monitor your STAR assessments and your district um, assessments that you're taking and we're going to start meeting with you and reviewing some of those, especially you eighth graders because you have to earn credits to go to high school. If you don't earn a credit, you don't get to go. It's just that simple. You just don't get to go. You'll be back here again next year. That'll hurt my heart too. Okay, so we've started with the morning and we have, for me, ended with the afternoon. Mr. Peters is going to talk to you about what the expectations are once you arrive on campus all the way through dismissal time. If you're on a bus, it includes the whole entire bus ride home. Mr. Peters? Wow. Good morning, everybody. Uh, what you've had a, we've had nine weeks, the first quarter, to really uh, live up to the wave expectations. Along the way, we've had a couple of bumps and a couple of hills in the road. But I know it's going to be a smooth, smooth ride for the rest of the way. We must always follow the wave expectations. We show respect, we act responsibly, we value differences, and we excel in academics. You come to school to learn. Teaching and learning is what goes on here. Also, students, if you do not follow the wave expectations, if there are any fights on campus, there is a strong possibility that you will not be attending school at Fort Myers Middle Academy. Very strong. And that would be 180 days at the Success Academy. Also, talking about buses, buses are considered part of school property. Bus stops are considered part of school property. So if any fights take place at those two locations, that's considered school, which then again means there's a chance you won't be attending Fort Myers Middle Academy. Also, academically, if you're a student that likes to sit in class and disrupt and not really uh, do their academics or disrupt the learning environment, there might be a different location for you to spend the day coming in the near future. You're here to learn. You're here to show respect, act responsible, value differences, and excel in academics. Mrs. Edward mentioned about credits. Sixth graders, if you fail a semester, you have to make that semester up before you leave eighth grade. So you might be an eighth grader in OS sixth and seventh grade classes. You will not go to high school. You have to get that high school mentality in your head now because you need a 2.0 to graduate from high school and pass a couple of EOCs and FSAs. So get that mentality in your head now. Also, uh, in order to encourage you to do the right thing, we have the PBIS cards coming back, and the wonderful Dr. Fitz will explain that to you now. So, awesome. if we do follow the wave expectations, we're going to bring back the stamp cards, and you will be noted for making good choices. Never, ever ask for a stamp. No, that's, never. That's a definite way to not get a stamp. But you'll be being stamped. Their cards will be stamped, and you will be able to count them up and receive rewards. We've got mm -hmm. slushies and I think some dress-down days. Mm -hmm. So there's some good rewards. It's kind of like uh, the card reminds me of when I used to play games. And you can see how many tickets will get you until you want to land on that space and get that free prize. Awesome. Nice. I'm excited. And teachers are going to roll out the stamp cards today. There will be a short video at the conclusion of this uh, TV broadcast for you to watch as it relates to the stamp cards. Students, the only other thing that I want to share with you is that you have got to be a rock star to be a Ripple, to be at Fort Myers Middle Academy. You should be very, very proud to be a Ripple. I know I am. Every day when I get up in the morning, I dress for success. I come here with a great attitude, and I know that I have a job to do here, and that's what you should be doing as well. Your interactions in the hallways should be as if you were in a job. Yelling, screaming, whistling, absolutely not okay. And that goes for the classroom too. Some of you are having difficulty remembering that the classroom is a place for you to learn. It's not the playground and it's not your neighborhood. You use a different language. The words you choose should be different at school at your job 
than they are at home or in your neighborhood. And I'm going to put an end to that. So teachers, if you have students today that need to be reminded of the words that they should be using, you just call me up and send them down to me and I'll make a phone call home with them in my office to their parent to remind their parent that they are in school to learn. And students, you want to know what's so special and funny? Every time I call a parent, they always support what we're doing here at school. So make sure you do your personal best. That's what we're asking for. All right, I think we've talked enough today. I hope everybody has listened because the expectation is that we're going to hit second quarter fast and furious. And stay tuned for the information about the PBIS stamp card. Students, have a great day. Remember to ride, ride the, the wave. wave and don't fall off. Good morning, Ripples. I'm Miss Eva. And I'm Miss Frankie. And we're here to talk to you about your PBIS wave cards that your teachers will be handing out to you this morning. Um, sixth grade, you'll get an orange. Seventh will be blue. And eighth will be green. And as soon as you get your card, please put your name on the top in ink. And when your teacher catches you following wave expectations, they will come around and put an initial right in one of the squares for you. When you reach 20 initials, you'll earn a cafe treat. And if you reach 50 initials, you get a non-uniform day. If by the end of the quarter you get 100 initials, you'll get to participate in a fun surf time activity. And remember, always keep your stamp card right in the back of your binder so it's always handy. And remember, and Ripples, to ride the wave. And don't fall off.